Hi everyone, this is Yikian and then welcome back to the Kai family channel. Today I want to review the baby Buddha pump. So first I want to talk about S1. Well, that is can be charged, but then it's so bulky. When I move around, I have to take one hand to bring the pump everywhere. So this time I really want to get a more portable pump. And I have done a lot of research on the market. The first thing that caught my eyes is the Willow and then I quickly uh, notice LV and then Willow and, and LV are competitor and they are essentially they have the, the model and then the cup are all in one and you can just put in your bra and that seems very attractive to me so I was for the longest time debating whether I should pick LV or Willow but then after just looking at more portable pump options the cons for LV and Willow is that some people say that it ne negatively impacted their output and then it has a pretty steep learning curve to learn how to set up the pump and for me actually the output is very important because i'm i'm of a low milk supply person i milk supply and uh, suction power is more important than mobility and then i have seen come across a lot of review for this baby buddha saying that it's really powerful and then it reduced the uh, pumping time and i really like the look of it it looks very chic after some weighing i decided to pick this one and also this one cost a lot less i actually got this from ebay a brand new one from ebay for about 130 dollar and I, I know that in their official website they always have the sale going on for about less than 200 dollars like 190 versus the LVN, then the Willow is going to be 500 or more. Uh, another thing is I, uh, for people who are traveling a lot, like go to airport, I would feel like for them, maybe mobility is more important uh, for them to pick the LV or Willow. But for me, I mostly stay at home for at least five months. I don't really plan to pump in public a lot. I don't plan to travel. As like I said, the output is a much more important factor so, for me. So that's why I picked Baby Buddha. I'm glad I made that decision. Okay, and now I want to show how I use Baby Buddha part and how I use it with different pump accessory. So the first one is what it comes with. This is what it comes with in the with the Baby Buddha pump. It only have one flange size. It had it does have this silicone massager. Once you put it on, I believe it makes the flange size as 24 millimeter. And then it has this cap, this cap, and then it has this membranes. Uh, it's a special type of membranes. Um, it has this uh, duck bill as well. And this part, it fit with wine neck bottle. So all in total, it has one, two, three, four, five. Five part two. And then, you just take the pump and then connect it with the tube that it comes with. Go in here. For this uh, white part, just go directly to this hole in here and then you can pump. This part, you can turn this into double pump or single pump. Another hack is to use this pump with Medela. Uh, I got uh, this medalla from the hospital. It comes with the flange. The flange actually come apart. I'm using a 24 millimeter flange. This membrane, and then also this deck bell. So for here, it has one, two, three, four, four part in here. But in order to make medalla compatible with Baby Buddha, you have to get long steam backfall protector uh, because Mandela is an open system with this protector. It will change it to a closed system. So you will just insert this long part into this hole in here. And then one more thing you need to do is uh, to remove the white end and then connect this with the, the shorter end. here. So in comparison with Medela and then Baby Buddha, 
the palm pod that it comes with, you can see this is a lot more, a lot more compact. Um, it's a lot lighter than the pump accessory that Baby Buddha come with. It does has a difference when I put it on. I feel it's a little bit easier to move around with Madela. With the extra backfill protector, there are more parts to clean. But overall, I do prefer Madela because it's more compact. Another difference is I feel is once I put these things on, um, the medalla section is a lot stronger. I think this is probably because with the removal of this part and then to connect directly with the tube here, it makes the section come across a lot stronger. If you watch other Baby Buddha review online, you will know that it has a rather unique section. This is the simulation mode. So it has this long pull, which is rather unique. The long pull is very strong, especially when you first get pumping and your breast is not used to it. So the long pull, I definitely feel the long pull a lot stronger when I have the medalla on than Baby Buddha one. How I do this is I actually manually switch it to the let down or I just manually switch it to either flip it down. So to avoid that long pull, just to get my breast a little bit more used to it. And then I can switch back to the simulation later on, especially for medalla. Another way to go with the Baby Buddha Palm is use the Spectral Cup. This is similar to the Freemie Cup. I didn't get the Freemie one, I get it from Spectral one because like I said, I have a Spectral Palm for my first pregnancy and at first I was thinking about maybe if there's anything that like my Baby Buddha went down, I want to have a backup pump. So I want to have a part that is compatible with Spectra as well. Uh, Spectra actually on their official website uh, just went out a cup. It's called Cara Cup. Uh, it is retail price at $75. And when it was on the pre-sale, it has a discounted price of $50. But I missed that and I was pretty bummed by it. So I was like, in my head, I was thinking about, oh, this thing should cost 50 and not 75 So I went on eBay and then find this Spectra Cup. Uh, the Spectral Cup was actually out in Asian market for a while now. It was just not out in the U. It was just recently out in the United States. So I went on eBay and then saw got this uh, cup, and then in the package it's come with all the Korean. Uh, so this definitely uh, came in from the Asian market. It's just called Spectral Cup, and it does have different flange size. And I picked the twenty four millimeter flange size. It come apart like this, and this cup should hold eight ounces of milk. This is the uh, back back full protector part. If you're using spectral, you're pretty familiar with these membranes. And then they also come with these this duck duck bill. And then on this cap of the backfill protector, it has the little tube. So you have to make sure that it aligns with this gap here. It should be aligned perfectly. And then put this cap on. And then how to use it is again, remove the white end from the tube of the baby Buddha and then connect it directly to the um, to the tube to the um, tube here. So the alignment is very important. And then you can put it inside your bra. I try it once it's actually pretty comfortable. I don't use it very often just because I'm mostly at home and I like to pump directly into the bottle so I can feed my baby from there. So if I do this, I have to pour the milk to the bottle and that always like risk some spilling milk. So I want to avoid as much as possible. And then like you see, it's very important to align this tube with this hole and then so that this tube, this tube can go 
into here and it has a secure connection. So that takes some time. Uh, that's why I don't really use it at home, but it's nice to have and I will be definitely using this when I'm on the go. Another thing is you can convert this into from the cup into a traditional pump because it also comes with this and then I'll show you right now. So you just reuse the membranes part and then the duck bill, also the flange. And we'll put the membranes here. And put this flange when you put on the flange uh, you need to make sure this um like the semicircle gap here is at the bottom to ensure a secure connection and then here you obviously attach your bottle and then when you connect with your baby buddha you can just connect it here this is more a traditional setup i like that with the spectral cup, you can either choose to pump into this cup or convert it into a traditional setup like this. However, the flange you see is very big. If you compare to Madela, this is how big the flange is and this is significantly bigger. Even if you compare with the pump that the pump accessory of Baby Buddha, you can see the flange is very big so it's hard to put it on actually i'm using my pumping bra and so it's hard to squeeze this part into the into the hole uh, and somehow this connection here is not as secure it's it's easily come out and it tend to lose um, section power because i you have to make sure the semicircle is at the bottom and if you twist it it just become very loose so i don't really use this day to day i think it's nice to have as a backup just in case these were the baby buddha none of this work uh where i need to replace some the membranes or whatever reason then um i can at least have this so overall i'm very happy with the baby buddha pump i have not even taken out my spectral pump once so this at first i was thinking about getting a pump just to for more for portable option just to do it on the go but this has become my main and, and only pump to use uh, around the house because once I know that there's a portable options, I'm never going back to a, to a less portable one. So I'm very happy with the purchase. One of the cons, if I can think about it, is like the battery could be better, but it doesn't really bother me since if I see that it's down to two bar or one bar, I just plug it to charge. It does take some time to charge, so definitely does not wait till the last minute. I'm highly recommending this pump, and if you have any questions, please leave your comments. And again, if you're interested in more mommy video, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you, and see you next time.